All right, so we're getting into this match. It's going to be Blink versus Apollo, which is a Daisy main uh, versus Ices. I have absolutely no clue how this is going to go. Edit this out real quick. All right, so uh, Blink actually doing a really good job of dealing quite a bit of damage. Uh, the thing about Ice Carmers is that, like they're kind of a damage sponge because when you hit one, you're fairly likely to hit the other. Uh, not because they're just on top of each other, but because of all of the uh, extended hitboxes you get on them. Because, like, just the hit stun, just they're gonna fall into it, you know? And so now Apollo at a huge 150 damage and gonna be losing his stock, only dealing 40% uh, before uh, his second stock. So, Blank doing a pretty good job. They strike in the battlefield. Uh, I would, you know, it's actually really funny. I, I have a hard time, like, trying to differentiate, like, the Icy's game because I haven't seen too much of them from, like, previous games. So I'm like, yeah, Battlefield's a good stage to pick because, like, you can avoid the grab. But I'm assuming the Battlefield's still probably a good stage to pick just because you can avoid some of their combos. I don't know how many, like, platform combos they have, but you can already tell that, like, Blink's playing a pretty darn good uh, keep away game. And, yeah, Apollo actually doing a pretty good job of, uh, Closing the gap, especially if Blank wants to hand it to him. Uh, he's already at 150 damage, so if he's able to get this stock out before taking too much damage, uh, it can even up pretty quickly. Although, 70 damage being built, mm, he's going to come back fairly comfortably, you know. Although I see, just like I said, they're a bit of a damage sponge. They, take a, they can take a lot of hits. They do a crap ton of damage because, you know, they hit you twice. So, makes sense. So Apollo trying to make, trying to get this stock here so he can finally start working on evening up the game. Nana does whatever she wants. Ooh. So Blink actually able to build up enough damage to take out that second stock before even losing his first. All right. That's fine. He's like, I'll lose that stock. I got a full stock lead. Ooh, I grabbed one of you. It's always great at low percent to get, like, those early damage. Because, like... You might, as long as you're not going to eat a huge punish, it might be worth the risk reward to, like, get a grab on one of them. Because once you separate their percentages, you know, uh, any hit is going to separate them, you know. So then you don't need to, like, thread the needle at high percent. And it just makes it really difficult for them, you know. And, yeah, Apollo already at 90 damage. I think historically this matchup's actually been not that, not that good for them. Uh, just because of, like, how slippery Peach can be, you know. So, yeah, I mean, like, Blink and Apollo, they're going even in percent, but that's exactly what you want when you have a stock lead. So, uh, he's going to have to make something happen. Or at least maybe get his hand in the game for game two. I don't know. Looking pretty good. All right, so with 100% on Apollo after taking finally the stock, you know, Ice Climbers, you know, hard-hitting character. If you give them their window, they, they take more than a mile. They, they take, like, the whole continent. It doesn't, they're, they're just, they manifest destiny all over you. It's actually ridiculous. They're like, I'm going to take this, I'm going to take that, I'm going to just do all of this damage here. Uh, but you definitely have to give them that window. And Blank did a fantastic job of, not letting that happen. So Blank gonna be taking game one. Yeah. She's hype about it. All right, so Blank gonna get rid of Lilat. And... Smashville. So where are we going, Apollo? We're going to PS2. Um, I can kind of understand that.
Imitation. I don't know if that I don't know if that's a backhanded compliment right there. Making fun of me? Trying my best over here. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going uh Banjo and Kazooie. Alright, covered in mayonnaise. I okay, there's another matchup where I'm definitely gonna be like, I have no idea what to think about this matchup. At the very least, before with Icy's Peach. I know it's Daisy, but it's Icy's Peach. Uh, like, you know, I had the past to build off of. This character's brand new, and he's really weird. He's like, Dill keeps telling me that he's like a Rob S character. You know, the way he like tr fights, and a lot of Robs seem to agree. Um. So yeah, and now we're seeing some pretty good harassment by. Oh my God, Apollo, Jesus! All right, yeah. So he was doing a really good job of like just covering all the ground below Daisy, uh, you know, with the nade. Just like he couldn't get a solid landing and just like juggle them whenever like he tried to avoid it, covering two places at once. You know what? That is definitely a very Rob thing to do. I can, I now see it. Um, and yeah, I was able to catch his landing with uh, the Wonder Wing right before uh, he was able to fall down and like dodge it. So. Great job taking that first stock, and now we have a pretty sizable lead. And speaking of being like Rob, he's as heavy as Rob, so that's going to be really tough, you know. He's also not, like, massive, so even though, uh, you know, Daisy's like a super big, like, Peach Daisy's a super big combo character, right? Um, him being a heavyweight, it's like, oh, okay, heavyweights are usually big, so you can make it even easier. But no, you're actually going to go for, like, like, more standard type stuff. I am partially talking out of my ass because I don't know what her strings are. But, you know, uh, you kind of get what I'm saying. All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Banjo at 150. You know, that's a pretty high percent. But like I said, he is a pretty heavy character. Remember, not only being the same weight as Rob means you're the same weight as Snake, if that helps give you the whole picture, you know. And, uh, yeah, Daisy now at 100. So... Even if he loses the stock, like, he'll be in prime picking for, uh, like, kill percent. Banjo can definitely hit hard. And he's got some setups, you know, when he wants to be safe. Oh, all right, cool. So we're just going to lose our entire stock there. Blink actually walking over ripping the controller out of the socket, staring him dead in the eye, and uh, he just laughs it off. He's like, okay, yeah, sure. So, uh, Blank gonna take that lead. <clears throat> you know, he is a little bit knocking on death's door right now. Uh, you know, Apollo can now try and even up the game fairly quickly if he gets what he wants. He just, whoop, yeah, he's gonna hit him with the, the Dr. Mario fair. And now we have a completely even game. So all of that work, Apollo, that you did stock one? No. Ah! Whee! Ooh. Dude, he has not come back to the stage. Finally able to Wonder Wing all the way through. He got stuffed a few times. And yeah, Blank gonna take uh, that game. Game two, 2-0. Two 